In my previous video, we took a look at this unique stair step generator that used a 555 timer and a pair of op amps to create a, a stair step voltage waveform. And uh, one of the more common questions I got is, uh, what would you use this for? And there's a number of different applications, and one that kind of came to mind by uh, myself and a couple of the viewers was to use this for the basis of a simple curve tracer. So, so that's what we did. So there's a quick example of what that looks like. But uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at uh, what I added to this circuit to make it a curve tracer. So for a very basic uh, transistor curve tracer, I wanted to be able to replicate uh, generating this family of curves, typically known as the collector curves for a common emitter uh, connected uh, transistor. And what it really represents is the collector current as a function of collector emitter voltage and a, a function of base current. So what this is really showing is that for a given base current, at a fixed base current, as we ramp the collector voltage up, what happens to the collector current? And what we'll see is we kind of come out of saturation when VCE is very low, and then we reach a, a nearly constant current for the rest of the collector emitter voltage. Typically though, at the higher base currents, you're going to start to see a tilt in this waveform as you go up due to an effect called the early voltage. But uh, it's just this set of curves that we want to duplicate with a very simple rudimentary curve tracer. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to have each step in the stair step uh, represent or create a different base current uh, for the transistor. So that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and then also during each of those steps, during the duration of that step, we want to sweep the collector emitter voltage. So what we need to do is create a ramp voltage that will essentially drive the collector emitter voltage that ramps up during the stair step and then resets at each step and begins over again. So that's, those are the two things that we need to add to our stair step generator in order to turn it into a curve tracer. Now the approach here is pretty minimalist, so the responses are not going to be perfect, but they're certainly adequate to get a decent response. Uh, the first thing we'll do is just, just take this stair step voltage and apply it to the base of the transistor under test through a resistor. And we'll make this resistor relatively large, so it kind of looks a bit more like a current source. So we're essentially going to be stepping base current by simply feeding the base through a resistor. And now to create our collector voltage ramp, we're simply going to charge up a capacitor through a resistor from the, from the VCC supply here and then using the pulses coming from the 555 timer uh, we'll periodically discharge that capacitor and let it reset again. So what's going to happen now is each time we get that pulse from the 555 timer that increases the step, at the same time we're going to turn this transistor on which brings this collector voltage back to zero. As soon as that pulse goes away and the, and the uh, stair step is steady, we've established a new bias uh, current for the transistor and then we're going to ramp up this voltage on this capacitor. And we're going to feed that then into a simple uh, uh, non-inverting op-amp gain stage to get the voltage swing that we want to drive the collector voltage here and to give me a nice low impedance drive rather than try to drive it right off that cap. Okay, so let's look at how we've added these components to our stair step generator. I've got them drawn out here on this portion of the schematic and we can simply overlay this on top of our existing uh, stair step generator and now you can kind of see how we've turned this thing into our curve tracer. Here's the resistor that's used to drive the base of the transistor under test to essentially establish the various steps of base current uh, that we're going to be testing against using the stair step output. The collector voltage ramp is generated by charging up this capacitor through this resistor here and then that's being reset uh, by the pulses coming from the 555 timer using this transistor here and then the voltage here is being buffered and amplified by this simple non-inverting uh, non uh, op-amp uh, amplifier. So that's essentially applied ultimately to our collector. Now there's one more little bit of circuitry I didn't mention before and that's this uh, structure right here and this is really nothing more than a, uh, a current mirror. Now the reason we're using this is that uh, the output that we want to see is uh, collector current, kind of on a vertical scale. Uh, the scope naturally measures voltage with respect to ground. So even if we just stuck a resistor from the collector to a positive supply and probed that, 
as the current goes up that voltage would come down and that's not the way we want to represent it. We want positive current to be represented by a more positive excursion on the plot. So this current mirror structure takes whatever collector current we've got flowing here and mirrors that current flowing down here. Okay, just by tying these transistors together in this way. So as this collector current increases, this current being pushed down here increases, therefore the voltage on this resistor will increase as the collector current increases. So we just mirrored that current down here so that we give us ourselves a point that we can measure with a voltage probe that gives us a positive response with respect to positive current. And then essentially uh, uh, the two voltages that we measure here and here become our X and Y because we're ramping the voltage that appears here. This is just a diode drop down below uh, you know, the, our ramp voltage here. So that's essentially the voltage being applied to the collector. And then the current is being represented by the voltage that appears across uh, this resistor. Now, of course, uh, you know, understanding how this part of the circuit is working where we've got the stair step voltage being applied here and that creates uh, different base currents, that's pretty simple to understand. Let's take a look at how this circuit's working here. And what I've got on the scope here is the yellow trace is plotting uh, the voltage that appears at the capacitor here. Uh, actually it's going after the amplifier but it's essentially the same thing. Uh, and then also the uh, uh, cyan trace, channel 2, is probing the output from the 555 timer. And we can see that the 555 timer output, when it goes high, it turns on this transistor and it yanks all the charge off of this capacitor, thereby dropping that voltage all the way down to ground. And then as soon as that pulse uh, finishes, this transistor turns off, this capacitor is now allowed to charge up. Now of course, uh, the, we, it doesn't get fully charged all the way to VCC before the next pulse comes along. And because we're kind of cutting that charge cycle off early, we get something somewhat linear in terms of that charge, because this would continue up in an exponential fashion ultimately, but we're just terminating that before it kind of finishes. So this gives us our VCE ramp uh, that we're applying to the collector of our test transistor. Okay, so now we can take a look at, uh, at these two guys here plotted on channel 1 and channel 2. We'll look at the voltage being applied to the collector and the resulting collector current, uh, and each step will be at different steps of base current. So that's what we're looking at here. So this is the voltage that's being applied to the collector, and then so that's ramping up and then resetting, ramping up again, resetting, and uh, after each of these steps, the base current is being slightly increased. So the collector current that's flowing is being increased and increased and increased with each step. And uh, we can kind of just zoom all the way through this and see how that process increases all the way up. Now, of course, to turn this into a curve tracer, uh, we just need to change the display mode to be XY so that we'll use the collector emitter voltage as our X input and the collector current, or this voltage that represents collector current, to be Y. So we just go into our XY mode here, turn that on, and uh, now we've got our curve tracer response. I'll just change our scale here so that we get a more familiar uh, family of curves with our tra test transistor in place. Uh, now as I mentioned, the response is not going to be ideal because we're doing this in a very minimalist fashion with a minimum number of components. Uh, the voltage is being applied to the collector is uh, you know, being altered a little bit by our uh, current mirror here, but not a dramatic amount. That's just going to make a change to the shape of the curves right at the very beginning here of the curve tracer. But, uh, but overall it gives us a basic shape, and if you wanted to use this to try to match some transistors, you certainly could do that. And just as an example, uh, I've got a transistor in here now who's got a, uh, a beta of uh, about 300, 350 or so. And we can kind of get a good idea of what uh, those curves look like for that transistor. If we yank that transistor out of our little socket here. Got another NPN transistor here. It's got a gain of about half of that, about 150. And we can see that the same set of drive levels give us much less collector current uh, than the previous transistor that I had in there. So these are different transistor part numbers, so they're going to be very different. But uh, you could use this to take transistors of a similar part number and try to match up the curves for multiple devices if you had circuits that relied on the transistors being matched. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, not only our, our simple analog stair step voltage generator, but how to add just a couple of components to this and turn it into a uh, reasonably good uh, bipolar transistor uh, curve tracer. Now, of course, you know, I wouldn't, uh, if I was going to set out to build a curve tracer, I probably wouldn't start with this, but it's a very simple uh, circuit to go build for, you know, kind of this dedicated purpose. If you wanted to trace out like, uh, like end channel MOSFETs here, I'd probably lower this resistor value so that we could charge up the gate voltage a little bit faster and maybe even add a bleeder resistor to, uh, to be able to pull that uh, uh, charge off of the gate when you're stepping the thing up or down. Uh, but you know, certainly there's a lot of things that we would modify if we were actually making a true curve tracer. But I just wanted to show you know, how you could simply just add a few components here to get this kind of unique function with the stair step generator. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, uh, give me a big thumbs up on the video here. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. And uh, thanks again as always for watching. And I'm glad, hope you enjoyed this.